valve jobs why so if your engine has especially if you have a gasoline engine more than a hundred thousand miles on it and the valves or valve guides haven't been replaced at some point and especially if they haven't been adjusted regularly you may have some top end issues and so i'm going to show you guys some graphic footage here in a second that will help you understand why valve guides get knocked out of cylinder heads um I love contemplating this piece of machinery. This is the valve guide from the 300D at an hour, or the valve from the 300D at an hour. It's, um, it's an exhaust valve. It's got a lot of carbon on it, but it also has a lot of wear on it right in this, right in this area right here. So what happens when the neck of one of these things wears out? Well, first of all, as it wears this area right here, which is actually not totally smooth, you can actually feel like a little ridge here, starts catching or hooking on the inside of the valve guide and pulls it out of the head. And then as the valve guide starts to move up and down in the head, it also wears a hole in the cylinder head. These were usually brass. Later on, they became bronze. Sometimes they don't stay in the head and they start wearing out the aluminum around them. So. What do you do when you have to do a valve job? Well, first of all, if you have a gas Mercedes and you are pulling your head, you've got to do some investigation about the condition of your valves. So this holds true basically on the M104 engine going backwards. Why is this so important? Well, these valve guides and these valves are, are not good forever. And if you take your cylinder head off it's the easiest time to do it because you can't change a valve guide or of course a valve with the cylinder head still in place so what i did uh you know what i what i do when i take these in these uh cylinder heads off is the first thing i do is i send them to my machine shop to make sure that the valve guides are good if one valve guide is bad we replace them all with these hard uh valve guides from a company called precision that makes a bronze guide that is much more durable so this is mainly a problem with the m103 engines m117 engines m100 engines etc uh, i i've talked to a lot of guys before who get low compression and then they pull the head and think it's the head gasket even though they can't see a vis visible failure point. If you're getting low compression and you don't have a documented head gasket failure, then you may have a valve guide or a valve failure. And you need to not be afraid of dealing with this. You have to go down the rabbit hole until it ends. So anyway, I would like to, um, uh, I would like to uh, make sure that all of you know this information, and next time you have to mar marry, uh, m repair one of your cars and you're marrying a new, new head gasket to the cylinder head, just uh, check your valve guides and your valves for any wear and replace them instead of running away from the problem. Like I said, do them all. Don't just do one or two. Well, with the valves, if you have no wear on them at all, then they can stay. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Please tap the bell for notifications. Leave your comments below. Thank you for supporting us on Patreon if you've done so. And, um, uh, you know, if you get a higher mileage Mercedes Benz, it's burning a lot of oil and stuff, this might be your culprit. Take care.